Welcome to the Creative Hunter. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to visualize an image in Affinity Designer. First, go to File New. Go to the Layout tab. Set the page width to 1500 pixels and page height to 1000 pixels. Check the Create Artboard box. Then click Create. Next, press Ctrl and O. Drag the image of the sword onto the document. Now grab the Move tool. Take the tool and select the sword. Then rotate it 90 degrees to the left and resize it the way you see it on the screen. Make sure to turn on the aspect ratio in the Layers panel. Now make sure the sword layer is selected. Grab the Pen tool. Take the tool and draw over the blade part of the sword. If you need to make an adjustment, press and hold Ctrl, then click on the area you want to adjust with your cursor. After that, click back on the last node you were on and finish creating the blade. Once you've finished the blade, double click on the fill color. Enter the following hex code number, 7D7DA3. Go to the stroke panel and set it to one point and set the stroke color to black. After that, grab the pen tool again. Take the tool and draw over this part of the sword. With this shape still selected, double click on the fill color and enter the following hex code number. C49952. Press Ctrl and click off to the side of the document. Take the pen tool and draw this little piece above the previous section we drew. Double click on the fill color and set it to the previous color we just used, which is C49952. Next, take the pen tool again and draw the handle part of the sword. Double click on the fill color and make the handle the same goldish color we just used. Now grab the ellipse tool from the tools panel. Press Ctrl and Shift. Then take the tool and draw a circle on top of the handle of the sword. Set the shape to the goldish color we've been using. With the circle selected, press Ctrl and J. Grab the Move tool. Then select the duplicated circle. Press Ctrl and Shift and make this circle smaller. After that, double click the fill color and set the duplicate circle to the following hex code number, AF8848. Give both of the circles a one point stroke and set the color to black. Once you've done that, click on the original sword image in the layers panel. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate it and turn the original image off. Take the move tool and place the duplicate where you see it on the screen. We're going to recreate some of the elements of the sword so that it looks similar to the original one. Grab the pen tool. Take the tool and draw over the shield shape that's on the blade. Go to the fill color or the swatches panel and set the shield to the first goldish color we used, which is... With the shield shape selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the shape. Next, grab the Move tool. Press Ctrl and Shift and take the Move tool to resize the duplicated shape, making it smaller. Then double click the fill color and enter the following hex number BC393B. Select the two shield pieces. Press Ctrl and G to group them together. Label it Shield. Then take the group and place it on the sword where you see it on the screen. Now select the blade layer. Go to the Layers panel and select the Layers Effect icon. Check the 3D box and select it. Unlink the Radius and Depth link. Set the Radius to 13 pixels and the Depth to 25 pixels. Next, set the Soften to 4 pixels and lower the Opacity to 90%. Then set the Shininess to 75%, Ambient to 25%, Azimuth to 50 degrees, and the Elevation to 40 degrees. Check the Scale with Object box. After that, select the shield group. Click the Layers Effect icon in the Layers panel. Check the 3D box and select it. Set the radius and depth to 4 pixels. Then set the soften to 5 pixels. 
After that, go to the direction section. Click on color. Next, go to the HSL color wheel. Enter the following hex code number. FFFAB2. Check the scale with object box. Once you've done that, select this part of the sword. Grab the corner tool from the tools panel. Next, press and hold the shift button. Select the two nodes at each end of the shape. Then go to the context toolbar. In the corner type section, select rounded. Set the radius to 7 pixels. Hit the bake appearance button. This will convert the corners to curves and they'll no longer be editable. With this shape still selected, go to the layers panel and select the layers effect icon. Check the 3D box and select it. Unlink the radius and depth. Set the radius to 8.2 pixels and the depth to 10 pixels. Then set the soften to 3 pixels. Next, go to the direction section and set the azimuth to 81 degrees and the elevation to 48 degrees. Check the scale with object box. Copy the shape. Next, click on the shape you drew beside this. Then go to the edit tab. Select paste FX. Click the FX layer and set the radius to 6 pixels and the depth to 3 pixels. Then set the soften to 1 pixel. After that, select the handle of the sword. Then go to the edit tab. Select paste FX again. Click the FX layer. Set the radius to 8 pixels and the depth to 9 pixels. Then set the soften to 3 pixels. Go to the direction section. Set the azimuth to 85 degrees and the elevation to 40 degrees. Copy the handle. Select the bigger circle. Next, go to the Edit tab and select Paste FX. Click the FX layer. Set the radius to 10 pixels, depth to 14 pixels, and the soften to 2 pixels. Then go to the Direction section. Set the azimuth to 66 degrees and the elevation to 52 degrees. Now, select the circle in the center. Go to the Layers panel and select the FX Layers Effect icon. Check the bevel and bars and select them. Set the type to enter. Set the radius and depth to 1 pixel and the soften to 2 pixels. Go to the direction section. Set the azimuth to 45 degrees and the elevation to 47 degrees. Then check the scale with object box. After that, grab the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle on the blade of the sword the way you see it on the screen. Set the color to the same color as the blade, which is 7D7DA3. With the rectangle still selected, press Ctrl and Enter to convert the rectangle to a curve, or go to the context toolbar and select Convert to Curve. On the right side of the rectangle, click and add a node where you see it on the screen. Make sure snapping is turned on, then press and hold Shift and drag the node to the right where you see it on the screen. Next, go to the Layers panel. Make sure this rectangle is still selected and click the Layers Effect icon. Check the Bevel and Bars box and select it. Unlink the radius and the depth. Set the radius to 7.7 .7 pixels and the depth to 6.2 pixels. Next, set the Soften to 1 pixel. Also, change the Type to in Bars. After that, go to the Direction section. Set the azimuth to 47 degrees and the elevation to 54.7 degrees. Check the scale with object box and lower the fill opacity to 75%. Drag this layer beneath the shield and this other shape of the sword. Grab the ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse inside of the inner circle part that's near the handle. Get rid of the fill color. Double click on the stroke color and set the circle to the following hex code number. CEA465. Once you've done that, press Ctrl and J. Place this circle next to the original one and make sure it overlaps it. Next, press Ctrl and J three more times and arrange these circles the way you see it on the screen. Select the circles. Press Ctrl and G to group the five circles together. In the Layers panel, take this group layer and embed it inside of the ellipse layer it's sitting on. Then grab the Move tool and resize the group the way you see it on the screen. Select the group layer. Click the FX layer icon. Check the Bevel and Bars box and select it. 
unlink the radius and depth. Set the radius to 7 pixels, depth to 6 pixels, and soften to 3 pixels. Next, set the azimuth to 113.2 degrees and the elevation to 56.2 degrees. Then go to the highlight section and select screen. Go to color and enter the following hex code number, CCB880. Check the scale with object box. Now check the outline box and select it. Lower the opacity to 75% and set the alignment to center. Then check the scale with object box. Set the radius to 0.5 pixels. With the group layer still selected, press Ctrl and Enter to convert the ellipses to curves, or go to the context toolbar and click Convert to Curves. Select the handle layer. Go to the tools panel and select the spiral tool. In the context toolbar, set the style to Fibonacci, spiral clockwise, and the turns to four. Draw a spiral on the handle where you see it on the screen. With the spiral shape selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate it and place it where you see on the screen next to the original one. Then grab the Move tool. Select both of the spiral shapes. Press and hold Ctrl and Shift to create duplicates of the spirals. After that, do this step two more times. Select all the spirals. Press Ctrl and G to group them together and label the group spirals. Double click the stroke color and set the spiral group to the following hex code number D68D6A. In the layers panel, take the spiral group and embed it inside of the handle layer. Next, select the spiral group again. Click the FX icon in the layers panel. Check the bevel and bias box and select it. Go to the Highlight section, select Screen, go to Color, then go to the HSL Color Wheel. After that, into the following hex code number, B0923E. Unlink the radius and depth. Set the radius to 1.6 pixels, depth to 8.6 pixels, and the soften to 1.7 pixels. Then go to the Direction section. Set the azimuth to 133.6 degrees and the elevation to 34.3 degrees. Check the scale with object box. Next, lower the fill opacity to 66%. Grab the Move tool and stretch the spiral group. Now, select the shape above the blade. Go to the Tools panel and select the Spiral tool again. In the Context toolbar, set the style to Plot it. Set the turns to 4 and the divisions to 12. Next, go to the stroke color and enter the following hex code number, AC9562. Take the tool and draw spirals along this shape the way you see it on the screen. Select all of the spirals. Press Ctrl and G to group the spirals. In the Layers panel, drag the spiral group into this shape layer. Label the spiral group Spirals 2. With the Spiral 2 group selected, click the FX Layers Effect icon. Check the Bevel and Bonds box and select it. Set the Type to Outer and unlink the Radius and Depth. Set the Radius to 3.3 pixels, Depth to 8.4 pixels, and Soften to 3.4 pixels. Go to the Highlight section. Select the screen. Go to Color and enter this hex code number, B0923E. Now set the azimuth to negative 68.6 degrees and the elevation to 68.9 degrees. Next, check the Outline box and select it. Set the radius to 0.5 pixels. Alignment to Outside. Then lower the opacity to 90%. Check the scale with object box. Grab the spiral tool again. Go to the stroke color and enter the goldish color we previously used, which is AC9562. Then go to the context toolbar. Set the type to semicircular, spiral clockwise, and turns to 5. Take the spiral tool and draw a spiral over the ellipse shape at the end of the handle.
Next, press Ctrl and J to duplicate this. Place the duplicated spiral where you see it on the screen. Now, press Ctrl and J again and place it where you see it on the screen. Select all three spirals. Next, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the spirals. Press and hold Shift. Then, take the Move tool and rotate the duplicated spirals 180 degrees to the left. Press the Shift key again and drag the duplicated spirals down below the original ones the way you see it on the screen. Now, select all six of the spirals and press Ctrl and G to group them together. In the Layers panel, take the Spirals group and drag it into the circle that we drew them on top of. Label the group Spirals 3. With the Spirals 3 group selected, click the FX Layers Effect icon in the Layers panel. Check the Bevel and Bond box. Set the Type to Outer. Unlink the Radius and Depth. Next, set the Radius to 3 pixels, Depth to 8 pixels, Soften to 4 pixels. Now go to the Highlight section. Select the screen color. Then go to color and enter the following hex code number, B0923E. After that, set the azimuth to negative 169 degrees and the elevation to 77 degrees. Check the scale with object box. Once you've done that, check the outline box and select it. Set the radius to 0.3 pixels and the alignment to outside. Check the scale with object box. Select the spiral 3 group, then go to the context toolbar and select convert to curves. Select all of the sword pieces we created. Then press Ctrl and G to group the pieces together and label the group sword. And this is how to vectorize an image in Affinity Designer. As a bonus, you can save this as an asset to use for some creative project, such as a video game or an icon. To do this, you'll save the sword as an asset. Go to the Window tab, check Assets. After that, click the hamburger menu and select Create New Category. Label the category Gaming and click OK. Select the sword group. With the Move tool, drag the sword group over to the asset area. Now you have a copy of the sword that you can use for a future project. Turn off the sword layer in the Layers panel. Click on the sword in the Assets panel and drag it onto the document. And it's now ready to be used for your creative needs. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified on new videos and tutorials once they're posted.